What's good with y'all? I'm back with another video on today. This will be a video on Rod Wave Dreads. So without further ado, I'm getting straight into it. I ain't even gonna talk our head off, man. I'm just gonna get straight into it, though, gang. But before I get into it, though, please comment, subscribe, and like, because I post these videos a lot of time throughout the week. So if you like this, you feel me? Just subscribe and stay tuned for more. Gang. All right, y'all. So we're going to say right away. We got a 4B to a 4C hair type. It's really coarse and it's really easy to start dress with this kind of hair. And now we can see that Rob Wave got a tapered haircut now. And he usually go with this. And a lot of people with Afro hair, they really rock a taper because it makes the haircut just look way better. Like tapers and fades and make your haircut just pop and just show the real definition of your hair. And now we can kind of see how his hair is starting to form into the free form area of dress because he got little strands of hair that's just trying to tighten up together and just turn to dreads. And this usually happens from you not combing your hair at all and not maintaining your hair, just washing your hair at the most, you know, and that's just gonna make your dreads form to dreads quicker. And this is a real definition of the first stage when you starting to free form dreads. Most people wouldn't like their hair looking like this, but when you got free form dreads, you can't care about how your dreads look when you get them because it's not gonna look like that forever. And you can tell that right away we got dreads trying to form and you can see the dread that I'm talking about that is just sticking out the side of his head. That's just a dread that's forming and all your dreads not going to form the same way. That one's sticking straight up. But to all my people who going free form and want free from dreads, you got to know like your free from dreads not going to be free form overnight and everything not going to form at once. When you're going free form, it takes about a year for everything to form to how the free from dreads want to be. And also when you're going free form, your dreads not going to be how you want them to be at the start, but at the end, you're going to most likely like that outcome so just be patient and just have patience though and you gonna like it at the end for sure we can still see that his dress is a taper we can also see that his dress is forming way more now and it's getting a lot of maturity to it and on the top middle part of his head y'all can see that the dress are forming way better right there and this most likely can be because like i said when you grow free from dress some of your hair will stay at afro because if some parts won't lock up as fast as other parts or it also can be that your hair is not growing that much in that part because i know like when i was younger my hair didn't grow like as fast on the sides as it is on the top but i ain't gonna go back to the memories but you know that's just probably why some don't lock up as fast as other parts speaking on that same situation y'all can see that on the top of his head and the very front some of that isn't as long as other parts of his head where we can really see the dress really forming that and the front just looks shorter and the sides look longer but we can see on the top of his head there's afro taking on a free form look and i just want to keep speaking on this little part because like a lot of people wouldn't like their hair looking crazy like this so called you feel me but the thing about it is you gotta wait before you shine you know so you gotta wait and let your hair really start forming and get to its full potential before you can look raw and like how your hair look and now we can see that the front of his head is more mature and it's all locked up now and I say he been growing his hair for probably like a year now. And that's usually how long it takes for you to really see the transition from your afro to real free from dreads and how your hair really gonna look when you have free from dreads. So I recommend everybody who going free from just to keep free from dreads for about a year and see how it look. Cause after that year over, you're gonna be able to know if you really want free from dreads or not. And now we can see right away dreads and turn the last stage of free from dreads where your dreads really just formed up and his hair starting to just fall down. We can tell that his hair is just growing and just study maturing. And as his dreads keep growing, you're gonna start to see that some of his hair is gonna get thicker. Some of the dreads gonna get thicker, more dreads gonna be congoed up and his hair is gonna start falling. And now we can see that his hair is really just full on free form dreads and you can tell that some of his dreads are congoed up and some of his dreads are just separate but as he keep growing his free from dreads more and more dreads are gonna start to congo up man and he gonna have way more congos and if you don't know what congos mean that just mean two dreads combined together it can even be like three dreads combined together that's what we call double headed triple headed dragons but you can still notice that the front right there is still not fully locked there and it just still looks like an afro kind of that's usually going to be the last part to lock up this is like the most recent photo of his dreads and now we can see all the dreads that's turning to congos on the left side and you can see how the dreads on the right side is slowly dropping again some growth to it but the left side has grown way faster and 
he got a lot of skinny free from dreads and you got a lot of thick free from dreads and when you grow on your hair free firmly your hair gonna be thick and skinny in different areas of your head so you should know that if you want free from dreads and yeah man so that's basically right way dreads for y'all i really f with his dreads man his shit tough not even gonna lie but if y'all really like that make sure y'all comment who else i want to do one of these videos on you feel me and like the comment if y'all agree with the person i want to know what y'all want you feel me i want to bring out a video that i want so yeah that's right way and we ain't asking for respect cause we demand it Don't know what I would do if I could get my hands on cannabis Steady seeing shit has fucked me up but I can handle it My cousin dad and I ain't even go to see his candle